Okay. Okay, moms and dads, ladies and gentlemen, moms and dads, Mr. Esposito, 6th grade science, Ralph Shannon Middle School. What do we do on Friday? Friday, we finished up on characteristics of living things. What are the characteristics of living things? Well, one, they're organized. Two, they respond to stimuli. Three, they use energy. Four, they grow and develop. And five, they reproduce. Now, what do we do on Friday? We started a whole new section on classifications of living things. What is classifications of living things? Well, classifications of living things is how things or items or objects or ideas or subjects are grouped together according to characteristics or traits, traits that they have in common. What does that mean? When you go inside of Walmart, moms and dads, you go inside of Walmart and we say, hey, I'm looking for the underwear department or the t-shirt department or the clothing department. What do we do? Do we go inside the frozen food section? Of course not. What we do is we go into the clothing department. Why? Because it's everything's classified. Everything is, uh, is grouped together according to similar characteristics. What does that mean? Well, stay tuned on Monday. I'm going to add a little bit more to this information. Your students will have a lot more information. They'll have it all on the right-hand side of their ISNs and be ready for the end of the week. By the end of the week, we should be back to having a full page web just we did like we did the last two weeks and characteristics of living things completed